Here we are again with another Express video. Today we're going to talk about what is a wire EDM machine. I realize that most of our customers and many of our friends have never seen a wire EDM machine, so today we'll take a little closer look at a machine. Today we're standing in front of our Charmin 440 CCS machine. It's a little larger machine than most machines. We can actually cut through 15 and 3 quarter inch material. The X travel is about 23 inches, the Y travel is about 13 inches. So we can get a pretty big part into this machine. As with all EDM machines, there's an electrode. In this case, uh, a small brass wire is the electrode. Now electricity is applied to that wire and the electric jumps from the wire to the workpiece or slowly erodes away the workpiece. The wire actually never touches the workpiece. <clears throat> In this machine right now we have 10,000 diameter wire loaded up. We're set up to use 6,000 10 thou and 12,000 diameter wire. This machine can actually go all the way down to 3,000 diameter wire, which is about the size of human hair. Some of the high-end machines on the market can actually go down to what we call 8 tenths diameter wire, or 8 to 10 thousandths of an inch diameter. Along with different sizes of wire, there's also many different types of wire. Brass wire is the most common. And then there's different types of coated wires. Most of the coatings are made of zinc and help to increase the cutting speed of the machine. So let's take a little closer look at how the wire goes through the machine. The wire comes out of spool like this. It goes through a series of pulleys. These pulleys here apply tension to the wire. The wire then travels down this tube to what we call the upper head. In the upper head, there's a contact that touches the wire and delivers electricity to the wire. Right below that, there's a diamond guide. This diamond guide has a small hole in it that's precisely the same size as the wire. The wire then travels down to what we call the lower head. It first goes through another diamond guide that's precisely the same size as the wire. It's these two diamond guides that control the accuracy and positioning of the wire. Below that lower diamond guide, there's another contact that touches the wire and delivers electricity to the wire. And below that, there are two pinch rollers that grab the wire and pull the wire through the machine. At that point, the wire goes to the back of this machine. And why don't we go to the back of the machine and see how this machine handles the wire. Here we are at the back of the machine. In the lower head, the wire actually gets chopped and it travels through this tube and ends up in this bin. Here the wire is dropped into maybe quarter inch long pieces. Other machines handle the wire differently after it leaves the lower head. But in all cases, the wire can only be used once and never reused again. Why don't we go back to the front of the machine and check out the table on this machine. Here we are at the front of the machine. Here you can see that our table has a big hole in it. This is because the wire must go from the upper head to the lower head. This also means that anything we machine must go all the way through the part. Thus, we cannot machine any blind holes, counter bores or anything like that. In addition, one of our biggest challenges is whatever we're cutting has to be out in this opening. Here you see that there's water in this machine. We call this a submerged wire EDM machine. When the tank door is closed, water will fill on up to the upper head. This will totally submerge the part in water. The conductivity of the water is controlled to control the spark. In addition, there's high pressure flush it comes out of both the upper and lower head, right around the wire, and flushes away the particles. I like to think of an EDM machine as nothing more than a high-tech bandsaw. We can program any profiles we want on our CAD CAN system. We can also program tapers. This is important for machining tapered bores, putting draft relief on plastic injection molds, and putting relief on stamping dies. In order to machine a hole with a wire EDM machine, there must already be a hole in part. This can be done with a milling machine or with a hole popper or wire cut the part. One of the real interesting things is that these machines can actually cut the wire, move to another hole, and thread the wire in another hole and continue machining. This allows for some extended run times. Why don't we take a little closer look at this machine cutting and threading the wire. Here you see that the wire is threaded through the machine. When we cut the wire, the machine applies electric to the wire, 
stretches it, and then cuts it. There you see the wire is no longer threaded. Now the machine can move to another location and thread the wire. When the threading cycle starts, there's a jet of water that guides that wire down into the lower head. And there it is, threaded right there. And that's how a wire EDM machine cuts and threads the wire. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please check out our other videos online.